So I wanted to show you guys what the newest thing is I got for the family. It's the Fire TV Recast. Came out yesterday, I'm pretty stoked about it. Um, this particular device, he asked, well, what is this? Well, this is essentially a DVR for over the air TV. So all your over the air broadcasts, your rabbit ears, okay, somebody would call it. Um, this gives you recording functions and also gives you the ability to stream it to your phone when you're away from the house. Gives you options to uh, pause live TV, bunch of cool stuff, okay? I'll show you a little bit about that in recording and whatnot. This is the one terabyte, four tuner, high definition with Wi-Fi and Ethernet. Now, break that down, one terabyte of storage gives me about 150 hours worth of recording. Should be plenty. The other one that's cheaper, it's only, it's only 75 hours, it's 500 gigabytes, um, a little more affordable. But the other one I didn't like, only had two tuners. This one has four tuners. That's, that means I can record four shows at one time, or I can watch two and record two, um, two different TVs in the house going on, and both recording. So it kind of gives us a little bit better options here in the house. Um, this one's high definition as well. Both of them actually are high definition. What's included is you only get the power cord and the recast. What you're going to need to buy is your HD antenna. And if you don't have a fire stick, you would need a fire stick for the actual TV that's connecting to. So in order to set this box up, you take this, put the antenna on the back, okay? You walk through the app and it says with the app, you're going to need to access the Fire TV app which don't worry if you have Android or Apple, it'll work. You just have to have a Apple iOS 10 or above or Android 4.4 and above. You go to their um, Fire TV app and you go through the whole setup and there's a whole setup just for this. And it tells you, okay, like my particular house says, go to the northeast side of the house and find a window to put my little, I bought a cheap $20 HD antenna, indoor antenna. I put it on the window and it says, move to the next step, move to the next step. And I... This does not have to be by your TV. This can be anywhere that's next to the, wherever it tells you to put the antenna. So I just find a nice little spot to put this near the antenna, tucked it in, put, plugged it into the outlet, put the antenna up, and then you do the rest of the app. So I sign into my Amazon Prime account, and by saying that, I go over to my I go over to my Fire Stick and I sign into my account as well, and all of a sudden, boom, I have a DVR tab on the very top. I'm like, wow, that's cool. So I still have all my functions of my Amazon stick. So I have my IPTV here and watch movies, Netflix, Hulu, and Sling. Okay. And going down, it still gives me my Prime selections and tells me, okay, because I'm a Prime member, it tells me, okay, you have some Prime original series, you have some, you know, featured apps. And I always skip that. And then all of a sudden there was this on now section, and I'm like, well, what's this all about? This is all my TV channels that are in the area. Right? So I, I put favorites on some of them. So now I have a whole row uh, right here. So I thought that was kind of cool. Okay, you still have this section right here because, you know, before I had the TV thing, it, it would ask me if I wanted to have a cable subscription, if I had a cable subscription, if I wanted to plug that or tie that into my, my Amazon Fire Stick. Um, you have your Prime recommended movies. You still have those types. But the, really the newest thing is the, the TV channels are all right here, right? You can look at this is all that's going on right now. So going back up to that DVR tab, because you people aren't used to that and want to see kind of a little bit more about that, is... Um, this is kind of the stuff that's on now, right? So this section is, I tried recording one last night, just like for a second, I, I clicked record. I wanted to see what it was all about. If I wanted to get rid of this, you would click the menu button and just click delete. Boom. You want to delete all of them or just delete them? It says this action will delete the selected recording, but not delete any of the ongoing recordings. I'm like, okay, delete, you know, boom. And it's going to be deleted. Um, now it says my recordings you can manage. So if I click manage, these are the things that I went to the guide, and I'll show you in a second. I went to the guide and told it to record. And you can see it has different dates. Like this one airs on the 16th. Both of these, or three of these air on the 18th, okay? And then uh, one on the 19th and two on the 20th and so forth. Three, no, no, never more than about three, okay, on the same day. Um, but if it was to do all four, I have a priority, or five, let's say there was five, I have a priority. So I was able to set this, and you just click this one, and you can move it up and down, okay? You can make it third priority. So it's very easy to operate. I'm going to go back, okay? Channel guides and scheduled recordings. You can, like, look at all these functions. The channel guide um, brings you out seven days via the tvguide.com. Um, everything is right on. The EPG is right on with this um, because it's right from the network providers, right? So, like, let's say if I wanted to do Thursday at 8 p.m. and wanted to record, or 10 p.m. and wanted to record SWAT, I would press the menu button, okay, that little line button, and 
I can filter the channel, I can make it, remove it from my favorites, because right now CBS is one of my favorites. Or I can just simply record it. When I click record, it says, do you want to record this episode or the full series? So I can have it re become part of my series. Um, and you can also tell it to, you know, you can push that Amazon Alexa. I still haven't played with that, so it'll be another video, but you can tell it, go to Fox News. So I'm trying not to speak because my, my one downstairs will start interacting as well. So the one on the desktop. So um, pretty cool little features. What I like about it, so I'm going to go to NBC, okay? Um, well, excuse me, I don't want to record. Uh, that was if I wouldn't record. Let me go back. Press the home button. So, um, oops. So let's say if I was here, I went back too far, guys. Sorry. So channel guide. This is what's on. We have the Partridge, the Big Show. Let me see here. I'm going to go to ABC. Live with Kelly and Regis. Or not Ryan, excuse me, not Regis anymore. Wow. Um, so let's say I wanted to pause it. I can just pause the TV and pause live TV. Okay, that's pretty cool. You can come back and hit play again. Okay, so I thought that was I thought that was a pretty neat feature. Hit pause, go to the restroom, come back, hit play again. And this is live TV. This is rabbit ear. You know, it's just a high definition antenna, um, but it gives you the options to record. All of a sudden, I'm sitting here watching. I want to record. I press the menu button because I have to leave. Press record. Now I get to watch that when I come back. And when I record, it'll say just this episode or full series. Let's say it's a game. I, I know it's a fight going to be possibly on. I would say this series, right? I would click this episode, excuse me. And then let's say I know it's a football game. I might go a little extra. I could actually jog over. Um, let's see here. I'm not going to can't recording options. I was looking for, I was trying to look. And it says stop recording on time or five minutes, 10 minutes longer, 15 minutes longer. Let's say I think it might go an hour longer. I can go an hour longer and that'll actually postpone that, that uh, stop recording time that much longer. So if I think something's going to go over and I want to make sure I capture the whole, like, you know, the awards ceremony or something like that, I'm going to leave or a football game and I know it's going to possibly go over, I can do 15 minutes over and it'll actually uh, sort that that way. So I thought that was pretty cool. I wanted to show you guys kind of the options. Hopefully I covered everything. Let me just double check. So yeah, um, this is one of the very, this is recording. So I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to delete it because I don't want this on here right now. Uh, free up some of that storage. And then go in the, we already went into recording priorities, schedule recordings, we already went into that. Um, and then some of your DVR settings. I have 92 channels after I sorted them. Um, you, oh, you can put parental controls on there as well. So hope that helps. Hope that gives you an idea of kind of uh, what the recast is all about. Like I said, there's a one terabyte, four tuner one that's a little bit pricier. And then there's one that's two tuners um, and 500 gigabytes. So if you think you only have one TV, that you're going to use this on and you want to record one and watch one you don't need the four tuners maybe that'll be the best bet for you i had three tvs you have three tvs going and multiple people watching in multiple rooms and uh different shows coming out at the same time so i needed the four tuners so between this function right here and my iptv i'm pretty much set i can watch every fight game uh football stuff going on whatever and um wife can still watch and record uh, all her local stuff without missing all the local channels that's not on IPTV. So again, hope that helped and I uh, hope you guys have a great day.